Hey guys, welcome to Today's the Day with Zach Anderson. This episode is brought to you by Alchemy Sales Coaching. I hope you guys enjoy. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Today's the Day with Zach Anderson. What up, what up, what up? Um, welcome to Today's the Day. All right, what's up everybody? Um, welcome to Today's the Day. Much love to everybody. Today's the day. Thank you guys for tuning in as always. I wanted to jump on super quick and let you guys know. Um, I'm extremely excited to announce that we finally have the top 10 journals live. They're on today's the day shop.com. Make sure you go and get yours. These things are perfect. We got them to the T exactly how we want them. It took longer than we were hoping, but they're amazing. I can't wait for you guys to go and implement these practices and develop these habits that have completely changed my life. So go and check out the journals, go and get yours today. Um, and I appreciate you guys. Much love. What up, what up, what up, everybody? Welcome back to Today's the Day with Zach Anderson. Um, I'm stoked to be here. I'm stoked to be doing this solo episode, and I'm excited to chat with you guys about a topic that's extremely, extremely important and has played a massive part in not only my career, but my life and every, every aspect of it. Um, Y'all are joining me in my apartment today. I'm out on the East Coast working, doing my thing. Um, but but I want to touch on a topic that's extremely um, key. And, and that topic is just limiting beliefs and the importance they play, how to overcome those limiting beliefs, and why it's such a big deal to catch limiting beliefs early and squash them as quick as you can, and also how to do that. Um, but to kind of roll into this, why this is so freaking important. Um, I guess, I guess to give you a little bit of, of context on, on my life and my story, I, I came into the industry that I'm in, which is an extremely, I wouldn't say cutthroat, but it's a very much so, it's dependent on you producing to go anywhere within this industry. So I'm 100% commission-based within the industry that I'm in. Um, and coming into it, I was coming out of high school and I really didn't have the highest expectations for myself. And even more important than that, I had a ton of limiting beliefs that I didn't even realize. Um, limiting beliefs are anything in the realm of not thinking you're able to go and accomplish something great because your circumstances are different from someone else's or seeing somebody else who's done something and categorizing yourself in a totally different category to the point that you could never do what they've done, so on and so forth. Any belief that's going and putting a cap on what you could go and do. Um, and I had a lot of these, to be honest with you guys, I, I had um, this thought that, hey, man, just because these people are a little bit different or they have a certain personality, they're going to go excel and I'm going to struggle in this. And obviously, I'm assuming everybody could guess how my first year went. If you've watched any of my solo episodes, you guys know um, I was I was the lowest producer within my entire group. Um, I, I did not go and excel or perform well or anything like that. Um, and then fast forward a few years down the road, I've gone and I've produced at the absolute highest level you can produce. I've managed teams, I've managed regions, I've managed top teams in, in the largest door to door company in the industry. Um, and, and all of that is due to learning a principle and applying ways to go and fix the way I was looking at things. So limiting beliefs are incredibly controlling and they come out of nowhere. So you have to be so aware of what story is playing in your head at all times, right? And a lot of people don't catch their limiting beliefs. They, they, another word would be excuses or anything, anything that's going to go put a cap on what you can go and accomplish in whatever field you're in. Um, and one thing that really, really helped me with limiting beliefs, it helped me wrap my head around the concept of it. It helped me understand, okay, I'm not the only one and there is a way to overcome this and there is a way to go and, and, and approach this to squash it and beat it and go and do whatever I want to do, accomplish whatever I want to accomplish. And that's a book that was given to me really, really early on. And I read this book no less than three times a year. If you've watched my podcast, a lot of the people that come out and, and, and I speak with on my podcast talk about this book. This book is called As a Man Thinketh. I hope you guys are enjoying this episode so far. It was brought to you by Alchemy Sales Coaching. Now, I typically don't run ads, um, but I feel very strongly about Alchemy Sales Coaching. I started doing one-on-one -on -one coaching with Doug back in 2019, and since then, I have gone and not only blown up in my career and my earnings, um, but it's really helped me through just the ups and downs of life. Now, the reason I feel so strongly about Alchemy is because 
it's a group of individuals not only focusing on furthering their sales career, but they're diving deep into inner work um, and becoming the best version of yourself so you can show up and be the best version of yourself. Um, not only that, if you have any interest in doing any one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, I exclusively do all of my one-on-one -on -one coaching through Alchemy. Um, so for full access to me, go and check out Alchemy. I think you'll absolutely love it. It's alchemysalescoaching.com. We will also go and post um, the links in our bio and on stories, et cetera. So go check it out. Right. So this book has been around forever. If you have not read As A Man Thinketh, everybody should have this book and read it. It's literally 49 pages. It takes two hours to read it. Um, and I don't know if I've ever talked to somebody who dominates their space that doesn't credit some of their success to this book. So I would absolutely recommend everybody go and get the book As A Man Thinketh. And there's a quote in there that kind of sums up this thought behind limiting beliefs. Um, the quote is one of the fir very first pages of the book. It says, the outer conditions of a person's life will always be found to be harmoniously related to his inner state, right? And what that means to me, and I think the importance of that is everything that you're experiencing in life, your circumstances, your successes, your failures, your frustrations, right? It's, it's in harmony with your inner thoughts. So your story and your beliefs about yourself, whether they be motivating or limiting, whether they be inspiring or limiting, however you're thinking about things is going to become your reality. So go and learn very, very quickly how to catch these limiting beliefs because they are so dangerous and how to squash them, right? Any industry you're in, but speaking directly to those of you that are in direct sales of any sort or any type, right? Those of you guys that are out in the summer, those, those of you guys that are having a slow month, a slow quarter, whatever it may be, but those of you that are out in the summer, it's midsummer, you're not hitting the pace that you need to be to go and hit the goal you want to go and hit. All of a sudden, those limiting beliefs start to creep in. All of a sudden, you go and start put cap, putting caps on what you think you could do. Whereas you got out there as a rookie, you don't know any better. Like, oh, dude, I could go do. 10 a week, or I could go do this outrageous number that seems outrageous now because you place limiting beliefs. You need to learn to lift those caps. You need to learn to, to control what's going on in your head, regardless of what you have produced thus far. Because if I kept my thoughts aligned with what I had produced, I never, ever, ever would have gone and excelled at any point, right? So you have to do it regardless of what you've done so far. You have to go and shape the way you think and realize if you think something with enough conviction for long enough, it actually becomes a reality. And that's absolutely insane, but it's so true and it's so key. And I don't know if anyone who's accomplished anything of big measure or anything impressive or inspiring would disagree with that. Um, so make sure you have your own ways. Obviously, you guys are familiar with the top 10 journal that, that, um, that we released and you guys can get it on, on the website. You guys can go pick yours up. That's the biggest way that I go and shape my beliefs and my thoughts is I literally write out every single day what I'm going to go and accomplish over the next five years or 10 years or over my life, right? I go and I write out exactly what I expect of myself and what I want out of life. And I speak it, act it, and force it into fruition, right? And it's, it's honestly, in my opinion, the secret to going and figuring out anything is figuring out how to think about it first, the correct beliefs to have about yourself, so on and so forth. So I don't mean to get preachy by any means, but this, this has changed my life big time. I absolutely love, love the I love the psychology behind success. That's my favorite part of it. And all of that stems with the beliefs that you have in yourself out the gates. So make sure you watch out for limiting beliefs. Make sure you squash those um, and, and you learn to control what beliefs you have about yourself. But I hope that little message is helpful. I like to keep these short and sweet, y'all. Go have a freaking phenomenal day. And until next time, much love. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Um, as always, it was a blast for me. I hope you got something out of this. If you got something out of this video of value, share this with a friend and please go show your love. We're on all streaming platforms, including YouTube, Spotify, and Apple. Any ratings, comments, likes, shares, they go a very long way and they make it so I can keep doing these things for you. And I would appreciate it greatly. So please go share with a friend. Until next time.